Hello and welcome. So in the latest version of the Z1 dashboard, which is 4.17, it is now compatible with uh, Codemasters F1 2018 SIM. So in this video, we're going to talk about how you set up the dashboard and how you set up the F1 2018 SIM so that uh, the dashboard could recognize the SIM. So I've got uh, the dashboard here open and also F1 2018 open over here. So if we start with uh, F1 2018, uh, we go to the game options. And then uh, within that, we need to go to settings. Then once we get to settings, uh, we want to go to telemetry settings right here. Now this gives us all the options for the sim to send out telemetry. Uh, the first couple are for uh, DBox, Fanatec, and uh, SLI Pro. If you're not using these, it's best just to turn them off. Uh, obviously, if you are using them, leave them on. Uh, so for uh, this uh, instance of just using the dashboard, I have them all turned off. Uh, next, go down here to UDP telemetry. This you need to set to on. Then under uh, UDP broadcast mode, uh, if you're just using the dashboard software and nothing else, you can leave this off. But if you're going to use other applications that also need access to UDP telemetry, then you want to turn this on. Uh, so at the moment, I have this left off. Uh, the IP address is uh, fixed. Uh, so is the port. So you can leave those uh, as their defaults. Uh, the next is the UDP send rate. Uh, so this one, you want this to be as high as you can go. Uh, 60 is actually the highest. You can go 30, 20, or 10. Uh, you might need to do some experimenting here for your system to see what sort of bandwidth you can do. Uh, obviously, the higher the number, the more frequently the data will be sent. So uh, we're running at 60 at the moment. And then finally, the UDP format. Uh, you want this to be 2018. Uh, you can go to a legacy, which is the 2017, um, if you have an application that doesn't work with uh, 2018. But let's go with 2018, because that's what we're looking for. So once that's all set, you can just hit Escape uh, back to get to the main screen. OK, so now let's go over to uh, the dashboard software. So if I go to the settings screen and uh, go to the network tab, right here on the right, there's a checkbox and a drop down. This is for Codemasters. You want to make sure that this checkbox is checked. And then you need to select which version of Codemasters you're using. So uh, the options for 2018 are F1 2018 or F1 2018 BC. Uh, if you're not using the broadcast mode, go with just the 2018. If you are using the broadcast mode, go with the 2018 BC. Uh, and then if you're going with the legacy mode, you would either use 2017 or 2017 BC. Uh, since when we set up uh, F1 2018, uh, we went without the broadcast mode. And for the 2018, we're going to choose F1 2018. Uh, now, another thing to know about how Codemaster sends out their UDP data is whenever the SIM stops, either because you exit the SIM or because you pause it, because you give focus to a different application or anything like that, it stops sending out UDP data. So the dashboard software doesn't know if this is because you quit or just because it's paused. And that's because the UDP data doesn't tell it that. So this CM timeout here is very important. This is how many seconds the dashboard software will wait before it assumes that you've quit the application. So the default is 60 seconds, so one minute. Uh, and this allows you to uh, come into the settings in the dashboard software, make changes and things like that. And you have a minute to do this before the dashboard software will, uh, will no longer be connected to the SIM. If you need more time, you can make this a higher number. Uh, and if you need less time, you can do a smaller number. Uh, 60 seconds to be, seems to be about an appropriate time. Uh, then we also have the CM name, which is Codemaster's name. So within the SIM, you get a name of a driver. So uh, it could be Lewis Hamilton. It could be Sebastian Vettel, whoever it is, whoever you've chosen. If you want your name to show up, you can enter it here. So uh, just type in your name, and that name will show up as opposed to the driver you selected when it shows you within uh, the dashboard software. So now we have this all uh, set up. We click OK. 
we go back to our sim, and then we start uh, a race. Okay, so now we've uh, started a race, uh, and as you can see on the left, we have the uh, sim running, and on the right, we have the dashboard running, and it has uh, identified who um, that uh, sorry, it's identified that uh, Codemasters is running the track, um, the uh, car we're running, what the current session is, um, and if you choose any of the op other options here, you, know, you get the standings, um, and back to the statistics. And you notice when I chose to focus on the dashboard, the sim paused. As I said, every time you exit the sim or you focus to something else, the sim will pause. And that's why you need those 60 seconds to make sure that the dashboard does not uh, assume that the app has exited. So another thing you can do is choose the dashboards you want to associate with the car. And in this case, the car is the Mercedes. So I can go here to settings go to the car 2 dialog and I can choose which dashboards I want. So right now I have six dashboards assigned. I can have up to ten and this video isn't about that but just quickly show you which ones are currently associated with um, my car that I can fast forward through. We'll do another video later about how you select dashboards and go into more detail on that. Um, but just be aware, go to the car 2 tab and choose your dashboards here if you want to change the ones that are associated with the car. So I hope this video has been useful and uh, that you can now easily connect the Z1 dashboard and the F1 2018 sim. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and we'll have more videos on uh, the various aspects of the dashboard software and the analyzer in future videos.